<clears throat> my cousin gave me his old collection of cards. Let's see if we can find something big. All right, so he found these cards, literally two full binders. I just knocked over my whole setup. King Aries is down. Venera just fell. Damon's back there smushed. But I have no idea what's in here, to be honest with you. I didn't look at anything. I didn't open up these binders. I just got them this morning, and I'm running out of room, to be honest with you. But I could tell that it is baseball just from... There we go. I'm moving everything. Jesus. I can tell it is baseball because you got the Cubs. But I have no idea. I'm not a baseball guy. I'm not a football guy. I'm not a basketball guy. I'm assuming that's what's in here. But yeah, let's just get into it and see what we could find. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So I actually lied. I pretty much filmed this whole video. I went through all the cards, I looked at them, and then I watched the video back, and you really can't even see most of the cards because of the way I had my, my phone set up. So I, I'm i gonna go through it again, show you guys what's in here, because I honestly still have no idea what's in here, but it's not my first time going through actually looking at them. So yeah, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go through it again, but yeah. There's got I got this out there. There's this alumni thing for the Phillies. I believe it's for the the you got the I don't even know to be honest with you. I guess it was an definitely an alumni weekend, but it's a postcard with you got Dominic Brown on the back. Okay. But to get onto the cards, most of it is baseball, honestly. And it's my least knowledgeable sport. So I still have no idea what is in here but i honestly don't think there was anything crazy but i honestly haven't fully looked there's a roger clemens i don't know if that's good but yeah i i looked through all of them and i don't think i saw anything too too crazy i believe this is barry bonds's rookie year but the rookie's not in here so, I don't think, I don't, so this is, what year is this, 1987 tops. So what I was doing was, after I filmed the first time, I was looking up sets, and I think it was 1988, which I didn't even know they did this, but I, was, I, think, I think it was 1988 tops, and I was looking up to see what rookies were good, and all that was coming up on eBay was the the anniversary set that they did for baseball. So all I was seeing was newer stuff. So I still I had I would I would have had to look a lot a lot harder, but I didn't really I didn't really look too too into it, but I didn't know that baseball did anniversary so I guess they're anniversary sets. And all I was finding there's a Tony Gwynn right there. But it's not, it's not obviously not a rookie card, but yeah, I don't really think there's anything too crazy in here i don't think there's any good rookies no hall of famers oh well i believe there was a frank thomas rookie card in here but yeah i don't think there was anything worth a thousand dollars that's for damn sure but we're sliding down here more baseball. So there's some newer stuff. There's a couple of Jeters right here, but I believe they're just base cards. So I don't think there's anything or anything too too crazy. <clears throat> some more baseball. It's a lot of baseball, honestly. I believe most of this you could probably throw into a fire and nobody would think twice about it. Just because I feel as though most of this is all junk. I don't, I mean, I'm not the most knowledgeable baseball guy, but I kind of understand who the good good names are, who the really good names are, and who aren't, and I did not see any of them on here, and the thing was, when I was looking up what type of rookies to look for, I don't get what counts as an error card, if you, if you, I, I if you, or knowledgeable about that. Let me do it down below. But there, there was some of them where there was a little white spot on it, and it was an error, and it went. 
I, it was selling for crazy amounts of money. I honestly don't understand any of that when it comes to baseball because I believe it, it, it's it's like that for baseball. Uh, it's, it's more focused on the the errors of the cards that were, you know, part of this this era of sports cards. But yeah, I I honestly have n had no idea. You know, it, it, there's a spot on this certain card; it, it counts as an error or something like that. But coming down to the end of the first book, like I said, I highly doubt there was anything in there that was worth anything. So, yeah. That's the end of the first binder. Let's get to the second binder. All right, we got the second binder here. Got the memories binder. Looks kind of beat up on the corner, but I believe this was the binder that had, I guess, some of the decent cards. This wasn't all baseball. There was a lot of, it, it wasn't really a lot mixed, but there was some football thrown in here. You could see some, some uh, Joe Montana's down here. You know, you got Don Mattingly, you got Pete Rose, but I believe they're just base cards, honestly, to be honest with you. You got an Isaiah Thomas all-star card. So, yeah, but I believe that's, they're all just base, base cards. We're going back to back here. Going back to back, got some more Don Mattingly. Don't believe he has any rookie cards in here. But yeah, we got Dusty Baker. He's the manager for the Astros, I believe. I believe so. I forgot that was in here. Because I literally looked through this before. So got some Wade Boggs, more Pete Rose. But I got there's a Barry Bonds, not rookie. There's a King Griffey. So, you got some more of the, the Hall of Fame names in here. You got Ripken Sr. Not rookie, but you got more of those types of names in here for sure. We got some newer stuff as well. This is relatively new compared to what's in here. You got a Mark, Mark McGuire rookie. I, don't, I still don't think that's anything special, but we got that. Mark, another Mark McGuire, Tom Glavin. We got a Pete Alonzo Topps Chrome. That's just a base card. And then there's the there's the Frank Thomas rookie. So I believe that's probably one of the better cards in here, to be honest with you. But yeah. There's some hockey in here as well. And you got some reprinted stuff, reprinted stuff of some vintage. There's some hockey. And there's the if there was this Tom Brady baseball rookie card, it was it only goes for a couple bucks, nothing special, but I thought that was cool. Got some more hockey. Mark McGuire's down here. Got Cal Ripken. Obviously just base, but there's John Cruck, Crucker. I believe he's the this. I mean, I I think this is him, the announcer that. He announces for the Phillies now. I believe that's John Crock right there. That's the one. But, yeah. Nothing too crazy over here. Got some older stuff. It's pretty beat, honestly. It's pretty beat, but I still don't think there's anything. There's a mosaic. John Stockton. Got some Montanas down here. More Montana. Got some Jerry Rice. Don't believe these are any rookies, but there's a paint manning on a roll. Other than that, I don't believe there's anything in here. To be honest with you. There's another couple Bo Jacksons. I believe that's early on. He looks pretty young there, honestly. Might be close to a rookie year. Mm, Tom Glavin. Ricky Henderson, some Mattingly's in there. There's a Schmidt. Again, probably base. I believe so. I believe so. There's another Canseco. But got some newer stuff. These are this is very I understand that this is base. This is base. This stuff is probably worthless. Probably. Tommy Lasorda. There's Tommy Lasorda. 
There's another Barry Bonds. So some Ripkins down here. Um, Tommy John. There's Tommy John. All I know is that that is a surgery that a lot of baseball players are getting. So I don't know if there's a there's a connection there, but there's another Mark McGuire rookie. We got another Conseco, Conseco. There's a Tony Gwynn All Star card. Got some more nothing, 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 nothing. I believe there is absolutely nothing in here. I mean, I don't see anything that would stand out to me as, all right, that's, that's, that's a grail. Like, I'm not seeing any Ripken rookies. I'm not seeing any... Who would I don't even know. See, I just don't know baseball like that. Like if I was looking through this, but hockey, you know what I mean? I'd be looking for the 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 Yagers, the Lidstroms, the 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 Madonos, the 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 Yeisermans, you know what I mean? But I can't tell you, I couldn't tell you what the hell to look for in here, what the best rookie is. I'm not sure. But I'm not seeing anything that's that's going crazy here. You know what I mean? I just don't see it. I just don't see it. That's why I need you guys to let me know if you see anything. Because I have zero interest in learning baseball. I have zero interest. I don't think... Don't get me wrong. I love watching the sport. But I just don't have any interest in baseball cards. I don't want to waste my time learning something. Forcing myself to learn something. That's, you shouldn't either, honestly. Just because there's money in it doesn't mean you should try to learn it and force yourself if you don't want to. But yeah, that's literally all the cards. Look through both binders. If you guys see anything, drop a comment. Maybe you'll, you'll help somebody else out if they have a binder like this. Because again, I have absolutely no idea what I just looked through, but that was fun. Definitely like looking through the cards seeing if you could find anything but yeah thank you guys for watching stay tuned to the next video